Good morning. I've got fairy lights today. I like fairy lights. So I've popped some up to make it a little bit jollier while I'm working. So this week we are working on self-belief. I put a vote out there last week, uh, self-care or self-belief, and everybody, pretty much everybody voted for self-belief, needing a little bit more self-confidence, believe in themselves, not criticise themselves so much, show up a little bit better in the world. So that's what I've come up with today, a little script for us to think about how we're feeling about ourselves, Think about why we might not be having a lot of belief in ourselves in the world and then turning it around so that we feel much, much better. So get seated comfortably, <sighs> both feet on the floor. Feel connected with the ground beneath your feet and we'll get stuck in because you all know how to tap by now. If you don't, you can drop me a line if you're seeing this for the first time and you're like, what the hell is she doing? Then again, just drop me a line and I'll let you know. So let's shift that stress response in the brain, change our brain chemistry, lower our heart rate, change our blood flow, release some negative emotion and repeat after me. Even though I sometimes worry about what others think of me. I am open to accepting myself completely. Top of the head, just tap gently. I worry what others think of me. I think others are always judging me. I don't feel as good as anybody else. I sometimes feel uncomfortable in other people's company. It's easier to avoid new situations than deal with the anxiety. What if I say something stupid? Or what if I clam up completely? I have felt like this for a long time. And it is a hard habit to break. Take a deep breath. Because, you know, in the next few weeks, certainly here in the UK, there will be opportunities to socialise in certain ways. And I am getting quite a lot of messages from people and comments on stories. that They are feeling pretty worried about it all. So maybe self-belief has been knocked a bit in the past 12 months that we've spent most of it at home <laughs> and not with other people. Stuck with our own company. Let's go again. Even though I often feel like I am not good enough, I'm open to becoming more loving towards myself. All of this self-criticism and judgment. I feel it often. And I don't like it. My inner critic is always reminding me that I am not good enough. And it makes me sad. At times it feels hopeless. I want to feel free and confident, but that just does not feel like me. I simply don't believe in myself. I would love to be open to letting go of some of this worry and fear. Take a deep breath. It's making me yawn. It's a good thing. <sighs> I usually burp, but it's making me yawn today, which is probably good for you. So let me just have a little wave there. See how you're feeling in your body. What is coming up for you? Are you feeling a little bit upset? A little bit uncomfortable? 
a little bit sad about how you've been feeling about yourself and the world around you. Or maybe you're having a bigger shift and you're already starting to feel a little bit more up for it. You can let me know afterwards. Even though I often overthink everything that I have done, I'm open to letting go of that self-judgment, to love and accept myself as I am. How would it feel for me to let go of some of this negativity? What if I can feel differently about myself? How do I really want to show up in the world? I am open to the possibility that I can connect with others. And what does it matter if I say something stupid? I am a harsh judge. And I can give myself permission to let go of some of this worry. All of this worry and fear, it has been holding me back for too long. Take another nice deep breath. Feel those feet on the floor, connected to the ground beneath you. That always helps, keeps you grounded. Two more rounds to go. Let's keep shifting that low self-belief into a more positive feeling. Even though, at times, I am full of self-criticism. I'm ready to learn and love myself deeply and completely. I can choose to see myself differently. Look at myself through the eyes of others. I choose to believe that I am lovable. I give permission to myself to love myself fully and unconditionally. I release the negative self-talk and replace it with kindness and patience. Deep down, I never really believed that critic anyway. I can consider believing in myself. And I'm just seeing how that feels. even saying these words and making me feel better. Take another deep breath. Oh, you only again. Are any of you yawning? <laughs> Is it just me? It's a good sign though, when you're tapping, you can um, yawn, sneeze, cry, laugh, gurgly tummy, burp, it's all good signs that your system's just getting moving and getting rid of stuff it doesn't need anymore. Okay, last round. You ready? Let's go. Even though I have been my harshest critic, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I can see that I have been pretty unfair to myself. But I forgive myself lovingly and safely. I give myself permission to let go of past conditioning. I choose to focus on what is right rather than what is wrong. I am ready to embrace myself just as I am. I am looking forward to being the new me. With a newfound belief in myself. I am happy being me. And I now realise that I am enough. Take one more deep breath. You can stop tapping. <sighs> that was nice, I like that. Made me yawn, it's always a good thing. And the sun is shining, so it's a good day. So thank you for joining me. 
send yourself out into the world in whatever way that means today, whether it's behind a desk on Zoom or out for a walk with a dog or a chat with a friend on the phone. Be you. Believe in yourself. You have got this. And I will see you next week.